Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2016, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, love finally, where it might've felt like there was kind of a false start, kind of a connection, kind of an answer, but then it didn't come together, or you didn't really know, or you feel like there were questions unanswered, this is where things start to feel like they come full circle, where they really feel like you get your answers, you get your clarity, you get your truth, you get a sense of completion in your heart, a sense of fruition. And it's because as I've been sharing with you, last month we had a full moon take place in your opposite sign. But what was rare is that this month will also feature a full moon in your opposite sign as well. And smack dab in the middle, there's that new moon in your sign that I spoke about a lot <laughs> in your general focused horoscope because it is that important. It is that big a deal. There is with this particular sky, a sense of movement. There is a sense that you matter, your truth matters. What you know about yourself and what you come to understand about yourself, the change that you go through matters and especially matters in terms of love the love that you accept, the love that you have, the love that you want to have. So much of what we experience in love is rooted in how we see ourselves and what we believe about ourselves. And that's part of what this sky is promising us now. There's a sense now that things can not only be better in love, but things can turn around very quickly and very dramatically if we do our own work. And sometimes, even when we don't do our own work, they can turn around rather dramatically. Given the particular sky that we have playing out right now, it is this full moon at the end of the month that I think, whereas last month, the full moon in this part of the sky kind of left things hanging. It was like, okay, there's a full moon, here's an experience, here's a feeling, here's an understanding. Now what? Now where does it go? Now what's gotta happen? Well, you had to face some truths about yourself, now, very quickly, as we approach the later part of the month, things can turn around for the better. Things can find a momentum and a resolution. There is a sense of negotiation with this particular full moon, but also with this full moon, what I'm seeing is it's almost as if you have to see yourself, you have to look at yourself um, and maybe see some things as you look at yourself through the eyes of another, that maybe aren't always easy to look at, but you know that ultimately this is part of seeing yourself more lovingly, seeing yourself with eyes of greater softness, but also seeing the unique beauty in you and owning that that much more and understanding how that sense of self-worth is part of the love that you experience. That is part of what this sky is promising and that is part of what this full moon is promising at that. There's a sense now that things can turn around, that there's some momentum and there are some lovely surprises as well. As I said last month, when there's a full moon in your opposite sign, someone is there. You are learning and you are learning through another person. You're learning to see yourself differently and you're learning about love. You're learning about aligning with another person. So what do we have here? We have, for those of you in an established bond, I think this is where a huge sense of relief can happen. Whereas you might have felt that you didn't really know where to go with things, you weren't really sure what to do, you might have felt a little limited, a little held back. This is where things start to feel like a, there's a greater sense of understanding, there's a greater sense of clarity. There's a greater sense that now that you've had that new moon in your sign and you know something about yourself, you're able to leave behind whatever it is that gets in the way of love to be that much more with this person that you are with. You're able to accept them that much more deeply and see life from that their perspective that much more. Those of you who are open to meeting someone new, as I look at this guy, it says to me that it is about you understanding your worthiness in love that much more deeply. And it is about allowing love to surprise you, noticing that things can turn around for the better and chances are very likely with this, that I think you're going to have that another moment, that another clarity with a past situation and particularly with the situation last month where it might've felt like you don't really have your answers, you don't really know what's happening. This is where, whether it's that person comes back, whether you hear something, whether they contact you, 
whether someone else by proxy lets you know, particularly a friend may very well be the person who lets you know so that you get that further sense of clarity, that further sense of knowing what took place so that you can be that much more in the present. And this likely would have been, again, as I said, with someone new that already crossed your path. Now, for some of you out there, small percentage of you out there, it's going to be so much more about you and your particular journey. Um, particularly those of you born earlier in the sign uh, than as opposed to those of you later, it may end up being more about you understanding why you are where you are in love and all of a sudden kind of lightening your load of any barrier that gets in the way of the love that you truly desire. What I love about this month for you in the context of love is that people are there for you. People love you. They want to align with you. They want you to understand your worthiness to have love that much more. And as you make yourself available to the learning that only love can provide, not only do you get what you need to, but it understandably moves you towards appreciating the love that you have, but also understandably creates a space from which new love can enter.